<laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahshua the Messiah brought me through. He shed his blood to cleanse me and you. He died and was buried, resurrected too. Because he lives, we shall live too. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yahshua, our Savior, Son of Yahweh. Intercedes for us, please trust and obey. The Holy Spirit empowers you to be a witness to others too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 too fast. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Grace and mercy comes from above. It is for the Yahweh's power and love. He gives it to us by his free will. His Holy Spirit and name is our seal. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, let us praise Yahweh, and let us thank him for giving this day, and let us praise him for what he has done, he gave to us his only son. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone 
to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Yahshua paid a debt that I could never pay. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Yahshua paid a debt that I could never pay. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Yahshua paid a debt that I could never pay. Yahshua paid a debt that I could never pay. Yahshua paid a debt that I could never pay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, love one another. For love is of Yahweh, and everyone that loves is begotten of Yahweh, and knows Yahweh. He that loves not, Knows not Yahweh, for Yahweh is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. First John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another. Love one another. For love is of Yahweh. And everyone that loves is begotten of Yahweh and knows Yahweh. He that loves not knows not Yahweh, for Yahweh is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. First John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, love one another. For love is of Yahweh, and everyone that loves is begotten of Yahweh and knows Yahweh. He that loves not knows not Yahweh, for Yahweh is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. First John 4, 7 and 8. First John 4, 7 and 8. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. I praise Yahweh for you. I thank you for allowing me into your home. I pray that you will get your Bibles, your pencils, and your paper. We're in our 25th year of being here at PCTV. We are also on Verizon. Uh, and Comcast, Comcast Channel 21, Verizon cha Channel 47. I pray that you'll get your Bibles, call someone that they will watch this message with you. It's called Father Yahweh's uh, Prayer Warriors or Yahweh's Prayer Warriors. And yet we thank Father Yahweh for what he's doing in the lives of his people today. My prayer is that as you watch this message that you're even one of his prayer warriors, that you're one of his people who been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. My prayer is that you will call someone that they may watch this message with you. And even before we begin this message, let us pray. Hallelujah. Because we're in a day and a time, we're in the last days, and everybody, everyone ought to pray. And yet, sometimes people don't even know about the power of prayer. But we thank Father Yahweh for his goodness and for giving us the ability to pray. Hallelujah. 
Dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of Yahshua, we thank you, Father Yahweh, for this day. We magnify your name. We thank you, Father. We love you. We adore you. We magnify your name in the name of Yahweh Shua, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, your son, even Yahshua, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Father, for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you shall do in the lives of your people. Father Yahweh, we pray that your kingdom will come, that your will be done on earth even as it is in heaven. Forgive us of our sins, Father Yahweh, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all your many blessings. We thank you, Father, for your provision for today. Not just food and water and clothing, but we thank you, Father Yahweh, for the salvation that you have given to us, for us, and through us in Yahshua's name. We thank you, Father, for sending Yahshua that he lived that righteous and Kodesh life, that righteous and holy life, that even as he lived on this earth, he obe obeyed every single commandment that was given. We thank you, Father. And because when we, he comes to indwell us, as you give us your Holy Spirit, as we ob are obedient to your commandments, we thank you, Father, for his presence. We thank you, Father. Your word says that two or three are gathered together in your name that you'd be in the midst. If two or three touch anything and agree, that it shall be done. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love and your mercy. And we realize that the words that have proceeded out of your mouth shall not come back to your void, but shall accomplish all that you have proposed it to do. So, Father, we thank you. We love you. We ask your blessing upon us, our family members, our neighbors, and our friends, and especially those that, as you draw them by your spirit, that will turn, that will seek you with their whole heart, that they will seek for the kingdom, your kingdom, Father Yahweh, and your righteousness, that all things will be added unto them. Father, we thank you, we love you, and we praise you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, your son, our savior, our master, and our soon coming king. We say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Again, I thank you for allowing me into your home, and my prayer is that you have your Bibles, your pencil, and your paper. This message, as I said, is Father Yahweh's prayer warriors. And, you know, even Yahshua in Luke 18, verse 1 said, men ought to always pray and not to faint. And yet when we think of some of the things that are happening even today, we want to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father Yahweh. We want to not only have a relationship with him, there are many things that we need to do to be able to have that relationship with Father Yahweh. And one thing that we have to do to have a relationship with him is to believe. We must believe by faith that Father Yahweh is and that he is a, war, a, a, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. When we really think about all the things that happen in this world, we need, we need his blessings upon our life, not a curse. We want his blessing upon our lives. And the only way to get those blessings, even in Deuteronomy 28, he said to our foreparents, if you diligently hearken unto my voice and keep my commandments, he said, these blessings shall overtake um, you and come upon you. And yet from 1 to 14, he shows us the things that will happen in our lives as a blessing. And yet we're not farmers right now, many of us, and yet, the time is coming when we will be in our own land. And yet what Father Yahweh said from 15 to 68, Father said to us that if we did not diligently hearken or listen to his voice and keep his commandments, and today we keep them by faith in Yahshua, he said then all these curses would come upon us. And if we recognize and even look at Deuteronomy, we would see that the curses have come upon our people Father has scattered us all around the world, and because of that, many things are coming and have come and will continue to come upon our people until they turn to Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh must draw. Father Yahweh must draw. And even as Yahshua prayed in John 17, and I'm going to read all these scriptures because it's important that we hear them. And even as we 
continue to realize that Father Yahweh has a work that needs to be done today so that people can hear what thus saith Yahweh. So people can know that Father Yahweh is doing a work in the lives of his people. He's doing a quick work in many people's lives. And yet, no matter what happens, we must pray. The scripture says to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. And if we're praying without ceasing, that doesn't mean that we're always down on our knees. No matter where we are, if we see a situation happening, then we should be in an attitude of prayer and thanking Father Yahweh for what he has done for us, in us, around us, and through us. And we thank Father Yahweh for keeping us, hallelujah, for guiding us into this pathway, a straight and narrow road at the straight gate. And so I'm going to read some scriptures for you. And my prayer is that even as you hear these different scriptures, that you, by the power of the Spirit of Yahweh, will truly understand what Father Yahweh is doing for us, that we might have a relationship with him. And our relationship um, with him comes as we receive Yahshua the Messiah, who is to be our master, not just our savior, but we must make him our master of our lives. And as we do that, then many things happen in our lives. These messages are not just for men and women, but they're for boys and girls because he told us he said, train up a child in the way he's supposed to go. And when he's old, he will not depart from the way. And so if you train them, yes, sometimes people stray off the beaten path. But when you really think about the fact that Father Yahweh has a way that he wants us to live, commandments that he wants us to keep, the only way we see them is to read the word and hear, hear a message from someone who shares with us Father Yahweh's truth. And so as that happens, then many things will happen in our lives. This is part one of Father Yahweh's prayer warriors. And so in uh, Psalm 91, I hope to sing this song at the end of this message so you can hear how I sing it. Everybody may sing it differently, but there is a tune that Father Yahweh has given me. And I thank Father Yahweh for it. But what it says in Psalm 91, it says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I want to say, Shaddai. It says, I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Yahweh, in Him will I trust. His, he shall deliver you from the sneer of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you in his feathers, and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. We want his protection. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in, noon, in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. We must receive him. It says, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. That you, they shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Think about the dragon, O Lucifer. Satan, the serpent, the devil, the deceiver, the accuser of the saints. Let me finish. It says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my 
salvation and show him my Yahshua, Yahshua and salvation. Um, salvation in English, Yahshua in the Hebrew. And show him my salvation. Show him Yahshua. The good news is the mystery of Yahshua. The good news is the mystery of Yahshua. And sometimes people don't know that. But it is the mystery, not the gospel. They change some things. They turn some things around. But the good news is the mystery of Yahshua. It's time for everybody to wake up and come out of slumber and come out of sleep and turn to Father Yahweh, those who can, those that Father Yahweh will draw, those who will seek Father Yahweh with their whole heart, with all of their spirit. Time for them to turn. So that is Psalm 91. And we praise Father Yahweh for what he's doing in our lives and even showing us that even as we pray that we must seek for the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, that all the things that we need shall be added unto us. And that is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. If we're not seeking for the kingdom of Yahweh, not the kingdom of heaven, because man does not live in heaven. Man will be coming down after the Mary Supper with Yahshua, will be coming down onto the kingdom, onto a place where we shall reign with Yahshua for 1,000 years. We just finished the fall feast. The Feast of uh, Blowing of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles, or Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkah. We just finished the feast, and we had a wonderful time in them. And we just thank Father Yahweh for giving them to us and for allowing us to see what they mean for our lives. And my prayer is that you will read Leviticus 23, and see what the feasts mean to you, not just the fall feast, but even the spring feast, beginning with the Sabbath day, which is once a week on the seventh day, which man calls Friday sunset to Saturday. We praise Father Yahweh for his goodness toward us, and then after looking at the Sabbath, he's given us Passover or Pesach or the new covenant in Yahshua's blood, and after that, every time we take the bread and the wine, there should be seven days of unleavened bread, and that's why it is only a spring feast. And then some 50 days after, then it is the Feast of Weeks or Shavuot. So we praise Father Yahweh for even the new moons that he's given to us. And as we pray in all of these feasts, because it is a holy convocation, we come together in reverence of Father Yahweh, believing by faith in Yahshua, Realizing that Father Yahweh has given us his feast days, he's given us his commandments, his statutes, his ordinances, his precepts, his judgments, his ordinances, and his ways of righteousness and his laws, that as we keep his commandments by faith in Yahshua, then he by his spirit will give us the Ruah HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, to indwell us. And then instead of looking at us, he sees his son in us. So I thank Father Yahweh for giving us the ability to pray. I thank him for the power of prayer. And so when we pray and we believe and we're being obedient to the commandments of Father Yahweh, then he does in us the things that need to be done. He allows us to see what we need to see and to hear what we need to hear. The next scripture that I would like to read is coming from Yachanon 17 or John John chapter 17, Yachanon. When we really think about the fact that the scriptures were written in the Hebrew tongue, I'm thankful that Yahshua prayed for the disciples of his time. Um, and as he prayed for them, he prayed some specific prayers. In J John chapter 17, Yachanon, it said, These words spoke Yahshua and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify your son that your son also may glorify you as you have given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life that they might know you, the only true Yahweh 
and Yahshua the Messiah, who you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you gave me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify you me with your own self, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. I have manifested your name unto the men which you have gave me out of, this, out of the world. Yours they were, and you have given them to me, and they have kept your word. Hallelujah. Now, they have known that all things whatsoever you have given me are of you. For I have given unto them the words which you gave me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from you, and they have believed that you did send me. We must believe. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which you have given me, for they are yours, and all mine are yours, and they are mine, and I am glorified or even magnified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep them through your own name, those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we, Yahweh. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those that you have gave me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. And I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. John 17, 15. I pray not that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one, from the evil that is to come. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through your truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth, through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Praise Yahweh. That they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. Not three, one. Hallelujah. I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved me and loved them as you have loved me. Father, I will that they also whom you have given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you love me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. And I have declared unto them your name, and I declare it, that the love wherewith you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. I praise Father Yahweh for this word, because most of the world does not know the name Yahweh. And when Father Yahweh reveals his name through Yahshua, and, reveals, and Yash, Father Yahweh reveals Yahshua to us, the only way we can come is if he draws us by his spirit. And yet, if we are out of the ark of safety, if we are out uh, in darkness, 
then we cannot know, neither can we hear, neither can we receive the things that Father Yahweh would have us to know. And so we're at a crucial time now, and my prayer is that people will come to the knowledge of the truth, that they will humble themselves, that they will repent and be immersed, everyone, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, for the remission of their sins, that they may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The only way we can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit is to obey the commandments of Father Yahweh by faith in his Son. And the only way we can receive them is to either hear them from someone, even as Yahshua spoke, that they would hear um, through the word that Father Yahweh has given, and even as they read the word. I have the word of Yahweh here. I have many, I have many Bibles that have Father Yahweh's name. The word of Yahweh. And so when we really think about the fact that Father Yahweh has given us his word, many Bibles that have Father Yahweh's name in it. We want to um, believe in Father Yahweh, know that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him, and to realize that he sent his son. Yahshua was here from the foundation of the world. Yahshua is the one who did creation. Yahshua is the one who came to save us. Yahshua is the one who died, was buried, and rose again according to the scriptures and resurrected, resurrected on the seventh day Sabbath, not on Sunday, but on the seventh day Sabbath, died on what man calls Wednesday in the mouth of the earth for three nights and three days, three days and three nights, all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, as man calls it, Shabbat, and resurrected at the same time that he was put in the mouth of the earth, in his tomb, in a clean, in a clean tomb, in a clean tomb. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus uh, buried him, and I got a little problem with that one. But anyway, when you really think about what Yahshua has done for us, what Father Yahweh has allowed Yahshua to do for us, we ought to say, hallelujah, 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 because hallelujah means praise you, Yahweh. Praise you, Yahweh. And we want to praise Father Yahweh for all his mighty acts to the children of mankind. And we thank him for what he's doing and how he does what he does. In the book of Revelation, even the last book, of the scriptures, and we know that the scriptures were written on scrolls, written on scrolls before they got the printing press, the Gutenberg printing press, and many other printing presses where they allowed them to make books. The scrolls is what the scriptures were written on. In Revelation 12, verse 9, this is what we read, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. His name is Lucifer. Lucifer, the adversary, the accuser of the saints. He's a liar, he's a murderer, he's a thief, he's a defeated foe. We do not want to fear him. If we're walking with Father Yahweh, he can do nothing against us. We want to have faith in Father Yahweh, believing by faith that he sent Yahshua, Yahshua in him overcoming the world, self, sin. Listen, Yahshua never committed a sin. He is the only one in the world who can forgive us of our sins. And yet, because he's sitting right now with Father Yahweh, we're waiting for him to return for the marriage supper so that we can be joined together with him totally. So we thank Father Yahweh for his goodness. We thank him for what he's doing in, through, and by Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahshua the Messiah, Yahshua, who is Father Yahweh's son, our Savior, our joint heir. We are joint heirs with Yahshua when we receive the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. So we want to be at the place where we need to be and to realize that if we resist the devil, resist Lucifer, he will flee from us. Don't listen to him because he is not going to tell you any good things. He's not going to guide you to do good things. And so we have to realize that to have a relationship with Father Yahweh, we must keep his commandments. We must repent 
be immersed, every one of us, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah for the remission of sins so we can receive the Holy Spirit. A lot of people are ministering the word. They have not yet received the Holy Spirit. We have to realize that there's a spirit of error and there's a spirit of truth. Many people are being guided by our spirit of error. We want to be led by the spirit of truth, which is the spirit of Yahshua, even the spirit of prophecy, which is the spirit of truth. So we want to do the things that Father Yahweh is calling us to do, and as we do them, we shall be blessed with wisdom, knowledge, and overstanding, understanding, however you want to say that. We praise Father Yahweh. Now, we have to recognize that as I said, our enemy, our arch enemy is Lucifer, the devil, the Satan, the serpent, Abaddon, uh, Apollyon, has many names, and yet, or I want to say one name, many titles, types, and characteristics. Father Yahweh has one name, many titles, types, and characteristics. And so if we realize that, then we want to recognize that many people have called our Heavenly Father Yahweh by many different names, but he only has one name. I have one name. We might have a middle name, but there's one name that's really important to Father Yahweh. And so at that point, we have to uh, look at the scripture, see what Father Yahweh is saying to us, and then be obedient. So as I said, Lucifer, Lucifer is the opposer to Father Yahweh. And that's why he got kicked out of heaven. You know, we see it in Revelation uh, 12, 9, but he was already kicked out a long time ago. And that's why we're having so many controversies on the world because many people are following Lucifer, but we must pray and ask Father Yahweh to help us. The scripture um, shows us many things and Unfortunately, many people have not read all the way through the scripture. So therefore, some of the things that are happening in their life, they have no idea as to why they are happening. But our ultimate prayer is that people would search the scripture, prove the scripture, study to show themselves approved unto Yahweh. A workman who needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I'm going to read now 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, verse uh, 10 through 13. It says, Neither murmur you as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. There has no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above that you are able, but with what will, with the temptation, also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Now, when you really think about some of the things that happen, there's a lot of temptations that have come into the world. There's a lot of enticements across the TV. There's a lot of enticements as you walk down the street. There's a lot of things that happen. But Father Yahweh wants us to realize that he is all in all. He is the one. He sent Yahshua, Yahweh Shua, and he's going to rule and reign for 1,000 years until he puts all his enemies under his feet. And once he puts all enemies under his feet, he's going to be go back into Father Yahweh, and Father Yahweh is going to be all in all. And the only way we can see some things is to pray, pray, and to fast, and to seek Father Yahweh, call on him while he may be found, and realize that even as he sent Yahshua, that there are some things that we truly need to know. A lot of people are fighting against the truth. But I say to those who are fighting against the truth, if you have your truth, stop fighting Father Yahweh's truth. Walk in whatever you want to walk in. But my ultimate prayer is that you would turn to the righteousness that Father Yahweh has given us and believe by faith in Yahshua. We say, hallelujah, Yahweh, Yahshua, Obadiah, Zechariah, Nehemiah, Hananiah, Hananiah. Isaiah or Yeshayah. Listen, the prophets have part of Father Yahweh's name in their name. And so if we realize what 
our names mean. My, my name, Hanayah, means the grace of Yahweh, the grace of Yahweh. And he's opening up a door and a, and a space of time, just like it was in the book of Acts, where people are going to be delivered and healed and saved and strengthened. And we want people to realize that that's the time period that we're in. But as long as people are fighting against Father Yahweh, fighting against his servants, fighting against his word, they cannot receive the things that they have need of. And so some people are not ever, 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 ever going to repent. And so those people are going to die twice. But the people who love Father Yahweh, who will be obedient to his word, who love his son Yahweh, Shua, Yahshua the Messiah, are going to be born again. We're born in the flesh. We need to be born of the spirit. Just as Father Yahweh is spirit, Yahshua was spirit in the very beginning. He said, Father, he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in the Messiah, Yahshua, who thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, but put on the form of a, took on the form of a servant and died for us. So when you really think about what Yahshua has done for us, we want to be obedient to Father Yahweh. We want to be obedient to his word, receive Yahshua, believe in him, believe him. And so if we believe in him, then all the things that need to happen in our life will happen in accordance to Father Yahweh's will. We say, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's a righteous kingdom in heaven. Lucifer got kicked out because he wanted to be over Father Yahweh. No one can be over Father Yahweh. And yet because Yahshua died for us, he's given all power to, and authority to Yahshua. He is going to be the judge. And yet, as Yahshua showed us how to pray in Yachanan or John 17, then we must do what the scriptures say. In Ephesians chapter 6, the scripture, this is the same scripture that I found in 1986, February 26, 1986, found on the wall in the congregation of Yahweh. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh. Anyway, in Ephesians 6, uh, starting with verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against all the wiles or the tricks of Lucifer, the devil, Satan, the accuser of the saints. I'm putting that in because it's in other scriptures. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world and wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. It's an evil day right now. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth. We want truth in the inward parts. We want the spirit of truth to guide us. Not the spirit of error, the spirit of truth. It says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. When we think about the breastplate, Yahshua is our righteousness. When we believe by faith and keep Father Yahweh's commandments and Father Yahweh uh, forgives us of our sin, cleanses us by the blood of Yahshua and allows us and gives us the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, to indwell us, Father Yahweh then begins to look at us. Not that we can just live any old kind of way, because we can't, but when we do what he tells us to do, then he blesses us, hallelujah. He blesses us to be able to do and be what he wants us to be. And it makes a difference as to what we do if we are obedient to his commandments. We must be obedient. We don't want to be under the law of sin and death. We want to be under the law of, righteous, of life and righteousness in Yahshua the Messiah. Romans 8, verse 1 and 2. Read it. We want to have the uh, law of life of the Spirit in Yahshua on us, not the law of sin and death. Verse, it says, Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, verse 15, of Ephesians 6, and your feet shod with the preparation of the good news of peace. 
Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the good news. Yahshua. The mystery. The good news is the mystery of Yahshua. It said, For I am an ambassador of bond, that, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. You know, they told the disciples back in the day that they did not want them to speak or teach in the name of Yahshua. But guess what? There is no other name given among men by which we can be saved. Yahshua. Hallelujah. Yahweh Shua. When I go to Jamaica, they say, praise Yahweh Shua. Praise Yahweh Shua. Praise Yahweh Shua. Yahweh is Savior. Yahshua is our Savior. So when you think about that, if you even come to understand that, listen, Father Yahweh said he's calling some people who love him, who will obey him, who want to be taught. Hallelujah. All of us. All of us must sit at the feet of Yahshua and hear the word and learn the word. And whoever, whoever has been put in a position and an office to be able to share the word, that's what each one of us must do. We can't learn all by ourselves. There has to be someone that guides us. Even if we hear from Father Yahweh, someone, he said, how can they hear? How can they believe in someone they've never heard? How can they hear without a preacher? How can a preacher preach except they're sent? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh. So if we're listening to Father Yahweh's word, realizing that originally the scriptures were written in Hebrew tongue and written on scrolls and then translated into Greek and then to Latin and then now we have English. But when we go back and realize that the scriptures were written in the Hebrew tongue to a Hebrew speaking people, to the Hebrews, then Father Yahweh, by his spirit, he said, other sheep I have, which are, Yahshua said, other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. So there are some things that each one of us need to know. There's some things that we must walk in. There's some th places we must go. And yet, no matter what we do, we must believe by faith. We have, must have a desire to be obedient to the commandments that Father Yahweh has given. We must read them. We must study them. We must walk in them. Apply them to your life. If it says do this, then do it. If it's something that's for today. And yet sometimes some things were for some specific people, for some specific offices, for some specific places. And so we just have to realize that Father Yahweh is calling us because he loved us. He sent Yahshua. And because he sent Yahshua, then there's some things that must happen in our life. Even Yahshua, when he was talking to some of the scribes and Pharisees, even some of our foreparents who were rebellious, he had to tell them. He said, you are of your father, Lucifer the devil. He said, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now think about this. We all were Lucifer's children because everyone born after um, Adam and Eve, I'm going to leave it like that, ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the sin nature came into each one of us. And so each one of us need a blood sacrifice. Yahshua is that blood sacrifice. In the old covenant, they uh, slaughtered an animal, a pigeon, a turtle dove to be able to have their sins covered. But today we want our sins to be totally forgiven. As far as the east is from the west, he said he will remove our sins from us. So we thank Father Yahweh for cleansing us from sin, for delivering us from demonic spirits, for healing us, for uh, allowing us to come to the knowledge of the truth, to be able to see the things that he wants us to do. I've got approximately three to five minutes and along with the songs that I shall sing at the end of this message. But my ultimate prayer is that you will watch this, watch it again, that you will watch for part two, that you, by the power of the spirit of Yahshua, would seek 
for the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness so that all the things that we have need of can be added unto us. Before we pray, he already knows what we need. And so at that point, we want to think about what the enemy does. We don't want to follow Lucifer. We want to follow Yahshua. Yahshua is our savior. He is to be our master and he is our soon coming king. Hallelujah. Got about two minutes left. We want to arm ourselves for the battle. And, you know, as I shared a message not too long ago, the battle is Yahweh's. Yahweh will fight for those of us who are his children, who are obeying his commandments, who he has called forth to do his work. The scripture says in Psalm 42, 1, as the heart pants after the water brooks, so pant my life after you, O Yahweh. We must want me, Father Yahweh. And the only way we can um, want, get, receive him is to really seek after him, to call upon his name. He said, those who call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. I said some time ago, Lord and God are titles, but Yahweh and Yahshua are the names of our Heavenly Father and His Son. So my prayer is that you will receive what thus saith Yahweh and realize that Father Yahweh is, listen, judgment is already in the land and it's time for everyone to turn to Father Yahweh by faith in Yahshua so that, and, and Father's giving everyone an opportunity to hear the truth. And yet the scripture says, and they repented not of their sin. And so if a person does not repent of their sin, they cannot be saved. If they don't have faith to believe the truth, they will not be saved. We must believe the truth that Father Yahweh has given because he sent, hallelujah, he sent Yahshua HaMashiach into this world who died, was buried, and rose again on the third day, even on the seventh day Sabbath. So it's time for everyone to turn to hallelujah father yahweh by faith in yahshua hallelujah 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 praise yahweh he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will stay of Yahweh. He is my refuge and my fortress. My Yahweh in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the sneer of the Father and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings, under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield, your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made your way which is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall not, you shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and dragon, shall you trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. There will I 
deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation and show him my Yahshua and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Hallelujah. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Savior and I. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Savior and I. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. Yahshua, 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 oh, Yahshua, Yahshua. Yahshua, 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 Yahshua. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Savior and I. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. Yahshua. 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 Oh, Yahshua, 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 Hallelujah. Yahshua, 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 hallelujah, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh for Yahshua, hallelujah, 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 thank you Father Yahweh, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your goodness upon us as a people in the earth, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. 